Hi, and welcome to Three Things in Three Minutes. I'm Nursi. Today we are looking at Mariposas from AEG. It plays two to five players and plays in 45 to 75 minutes. What it's about, Mariposas is a movement and collection game in which you play as monarch butterflies, migrating from Michoacan, Mexico in the spring to the US and then back for fall, mirroring the real life migration patterns of the butterflies. Each round, you'll play a card from your hand, which lets you move your butterflies. Now, when you land, you'll either collect flowers, which will then uh, turn in to breed new butterflies on milkwood spots, or go to way stations where you'll collect bonus action cards to build sets of color coded uh, life cycle ability cards that you can use for special abilities. The season ends when a set number of next generation butterflies have been hatched. Some butterflies will die, and then players will score intermediate goals. At the end of three seasons, players will also score for how many butterflies return to Michoacan for their life and for their life cycle sets. What I like. Now this game is a good example of what designer Elizabeth Hargrave does best, combining accessible mechanics with science-based themes that come across well in the gameplay. Now the elements of migration, hatching new generations, and finding scarce resources all come across, but the action card mechanic is clear enough that anyone can pick it up. And though the map of the game is static, the waypoint stations and season scoring cards are variable, which makes the game play out fairly differently from game to game. And this works well since in some uh, the game has some various ways to score, so in some games you might find some strategies other than trying to return to Mexico will work well for you. The game also has some really beautiful art. Now the migration itself is highly abstracted, but the individual art is well done, and the overall aesthetic of the game is simple and elegant. Points to consider. The abstraction of the game's geography does make the game a bit hard to see at points. So yes, it looks nothing like North America, which really isn't a problem for butterflies, but a lot of the scoring relies on you ending the season with butterflies in locations that are east of Chicago or north of Atlanta, and it's a bit hard to see that on the hex map, so you'll need to pause and check your positions often. The game also doesn't have a lot of player interaction other than getting a bonus for getting to the waypoints first or maybe using each other's discard piles. Now that's not really a bad thing at all depending on what you like and butterflies aren't meant to be aggressive so you'll just have to decide how much you like doing your own thing in games. And the set collection feels really secondary, sometimes because the bonuses for completing the set are minor compared to the amount of effort spent in collecting them, especially when the waypoints are spread far apart. So going for scoring bonuses is usually more worthwhile. So, in summary, it's a game that nicely mixes simple mechanics with a well-integrated theme, though it's mostly a solitary affair. It has multiple scoring mechanics and variable setup to keep the game fresh, though the set collection does feel secondary, and it has a beautifully elegant aesthetic, though the map uh, can make the geography-based scoring a bit hard. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.